Howdy doody. Okay. So, I'm sure I'm not the only one who has seen the commercials for Little Caesars like crazy pups. There are these little cups, like pie crust cups, and they've got like pepperoni and cheese and sauce and you just, you know, they're, they're like a new thing for summer. So I got to thinking and I made my own. And yes, they're wrapped in plastic. And I do mean I made my own. I made a ton. Um, now, I'll be honest. Not every one of them is perfect. <laughs> Some of them look a little goofy, shall we say? Oh, oh, get in there. Don't burn too much. Okay. So, here's my thought. Get, like, make your pie crust like you would normally do, or your pizza crust like you'd normally do it. I did mine overnight. I started it yesterday. And I stuck it in the fridge overnight. And then when I got today, I was like, okay, you have to do this now. And so I rolled it out. And I used my little muffin things. And I, up underneath the pie crust, I put my little muffin cup under it. And I made sure it went all the way around. And there were some that broke through and had holes. And I would just take water and dab it. Not perfect. I don't care. And then you cut around it and you stick it like you can put it in your oven but let's be honest it's 105 degrees out there do you really want to run your own oven today i use my air fryer and even though i could only put two in at a time which took me some time um it was i was just like you know what i'm not heating up my kitchen so i i put the dough over it and then I just cut around a little bit and then I stuck two in at a time and cooked them about 10 minutes. I did not cook them all the way through. That's the key. I, I only cooked them like maybe seven minutes each. And there are some that are thicker on the bottom. So like when you take them out and you peel them off the, um, the muffin tin, the muffin thingy, you'll be able to tell that it's still doughy. That's okay. Because you still have to cook them again when you put all the ingredients in it to melt the cheese. So I'm going to try this. And I'm going to see. Because like I say, some of them are a little thicker than others. Some are extremely thin. But I also have the opinion that this is a trial and error type deal. Now, if these are little like crazy puffs, so to speak. I still have... Speaking of which, I kept, I, I keep forgetting to take some out because I actually, I did make them just now. My refrigerator doesn't always shut. And I also have a little bit of, now, <laughs> this is funny. Um, I have a block of tofu that I need to cook up and I took some vegan dogs, chopped them up. I took mushrooms, sauteed onions, garlic, and I threw some spinach in there. This is going to go into one of these little puffy dude things with some cheese on top and then I'm going to bake it. Um, and yes, I'm going to break the block of tofu up too. It's just one of those things of... As bad as this sounds. I'm tired of eating the same thing. I have flour everywhere. <laughs> I did clean. I really did. Um, I have flour all over my stove. Because as each one came out, I flipped them on my stove. And I put them on my burners to cool. But I'm, I'm seriously going to leave. I put four out. Because they're kind of tiny. And it's one of those, what if I'm really hungry and I want two? Okay, uh, I'm gonna try these and I'll 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 let you know how they are. I just there are certain commercials I see, and I'm one of those people that does the why can't I make that vegan? I seriously do. 
and I and I've had people tell me, well, of course you can. You can make anything vegan, right? Um, I'm going to like I saw a, an Instagram video the other night, and somebody took a whole apple, cut the core out, and then scraped the inside of the apple out, wrapped it in a pie crust, cooked like the apple stuff in a pan, and put cinnamon on it. Which I was just like, oh. Hmm. Yeah, keep going. And then they put it back in the apple and they baked it in the oven. And I was just like, so I, I got to thinking, I'm like, I need to make that this, this fall. I'm like, oh, yummy, yummy. Mm -hmm. um, I have a Keurig. Um, I'm, I'm actually going to learn how to make pumpkin spice milk, pumpkin spice creamer, and pumpkin spice coffee. Can't tell I like pumpkin spice, can you? Um, I'm just, I'm not looking forward to fall because I don't like cold at all. I would rather have the heat. However, I've been told it's okay because this winter I get to do budget with my electric bill and my electric bill is so unbelievably tiny. It's like 30, $40 a month <laughs> because I keep my air up to like 80 and there are times where I just... Like, I will turn it up to 85 because I'm like, I am so cold. Why am I cold? <laughs> um, I am looking forward to opening the doors and windows and getting some fresh air in here. That would be awesome. Anyway, um, I'm going to try this and I will get back to you. I will do a video after I've made them and when I do the taste test because, like I say, um, I mean, once I saw that commercial of Little Caesars, I was like, what the heck? is so quick and so easy and um if you have these little muffin cups don't worry they get hot but they don't melt um and they're great because it's just like having a muffin pan only it's individually and i'm going to make some muffins i'm going to make all sorts of things i'm pretty excited about that so i will be back when i've um, done the tasty test thing and I will let you know how things work out Yeah, I'm so excited Have a wonderful day